Hello everyone, this is MD Ajayul Islam from University of Texas at Arlington. Today we will discuss about the experiment regarding grain size distribution of fine grain salt particles by hydrometer analysis method. In the previous experiment, we determined the grain size distribution of coarse grain soil by sieve analysis method. Soil particle diameter less than 0.075 mm is known as fine grain soil, whereas greater than 0.075 mm is known as coarse grain soil. If soil is composed of both fine grain and coarse grain soil, then we need to conduct both sieve analysis and hydrometer analysis for obtaining combined gradation curve. In coarse grain soil, we used sieve shaker while for fine grain soil, we will use uh, hydrometer. Hydrometer analysis is based on sedimentation process. This method can determine the grain size of both sealed and clay particles. The hydrometer analysis is developed based on Stokes law. Suspended soil particles will fall into the bottom due to gravity. The greater the grain size, the greater its settling velocity in a fluid. The time required to reach at the bottom depends on the terminal velocity of that soil particle. The, this terminal velocity can be determined by the following equation given by Stokes. If we know the velocity, that means travel length divided by the required time, then we can determine the particle diameter. Hydrometer is such a device which readings can show how much soil particles are moving downward with time. In hydrometer analysis, we will use two cylinders. One is sedimentation cylinder and the another is control cylinder. In sedimentation cylinder, there will be soil slurry in which we will do the experiment. And in the control cylinder, there will be a control solution. We will follow ASTM D4228 standard. This method is generally used to determine the particle size distribution for soils with small grains that means less than 0.075 mm. We will also uh, use in this experiment ASTM 152H model hydrometer. 152H model hydrometer is marked from minus 5 to plus 60 gram per liter readings. We will take 50 gram of soil sample passing number 200 sieve. A hydrometer reading 30 means that there are 30 gram of soil solids in suspension per 1000 cc of soil water mixture at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Usually the hydrometer is calibrated at 23 degrees Celsius and for exposure gravity 2.65. So if the temperature changes or the exposure gravity is different than 2.65 then we need to apply some correction factors. In total, three corrections are necessary. The first one is meniscus correction. It is the difference between the upper meniscus and the lower meniscus. The second one is zero correction. In an ideal distilled water solution, hydrometer readings will show zero. The hydrometer readings might be dif might differ if the hydrometer is too old, then we need to calibrate. And also, we need to add some deflocalizing agent like sodium hexamotophosphate in the control solution and as well as in the sedimentation tank, so in the soil slurry. So therefore, for this uh, reagent, we also need to calibrate the hydrometer. This calibration of hydrometer is known as the zero correction. That means we will uh, put the hydrometer in the control solution and the reading it shows it will be the zero correction reading. Temperature correction is also required since during that experiment temperature might vary from the ideal temperature. To prevent flocculation of soil particles, a dispersing agent is necessary. 
In this experiment, we will use a solution of sodium hexametaphosphate in distilled water. The concentration of that solution will be 40 gram per liter. Let's discuss the procedure for this experiment. At first, we will take 50 gram of soil sample and we will put the soil in a mix mixing can. Then we will put 125 milliliter of dispersing agent and we will mix it with distilled water and we will fill around half to three fourth of the cup. Then we will mix the soil slurry for about of two minutes. After mixing, we will carefully wash the soil solution. Then we will pour the soil slurry into the empty sedimentation tank. We will fill the rest of the cylinder with distilled water. Then we will cover the open end of that cylinder with a stopper and we need to turn the cylinder upside down and back upright for a period of about one minute. After that, we will set the cylinder down and start recording the uh, time. Remove the stopper from the cylinder, then we will insert the hydrometer very slowly. Then take the first reading and record the time. Along with the hydrometer reading, we will also record the temperature at that specific moment. We will also continue taking the readings at a certain interval till 24 hours. Let's discuss the calculation procedure. The following formula are used for the data analysis. Percent finer, that means percent finer N and particle size diameter T can be obtained from the hydrometer readings. For the calculation, we need to have some standard charts and tables. Values of effective depth based on hydrometer reading can be obtained from this table. A specific gravity of water at defined temperatures can be found in this table. This table shows the viscosity of water at different temperatures. This table shows the temperature correction factor and the correction factor for a specific gravity. For the calculation part, we already measured the weight of the soil. We also determined the meniscus correction and the zero correction. The actual hydrometer reading and temperature with elapsed time was recorded for 24 hours. Corrected hydrometer reading and temperature. The corrected hydrometer reading can be obtained by applying correction factors. Percent finer can be determined from corrected hydrometer readings and weight of soil solids. Hydrometer readings was corrected with the meniscus correction only. With this, the effective depth of hydrometer can be determined from the table shown in lab manual. A specific gravity and viscosity of water was taken from the table showed in previously. Finally, the particle diameters can be obtained from this data. If we have the particle diameters along with the percent finer, we can plot the grain size distribution curve in a similar graph paper. You can use Excel or any other graph plotting software for this graph. The curves from hydrometer or sieve analysis, the curves from hydrometer and sieve analysis, sieve analysis can be combined to plot the full grain size distribution curve for that soil sample. Here are some YouTube video links which will be helpful for in-depth concept of this experiment. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture. Hope to see you in the next experiment. Bye.